In this video, I'm going to go over Discover Sims Getting Started tutorial. So the first step is to open the workbook to make project duration. You can find this workbook in Discover Sims installation directory. This is an example model of a Six Sigma project with five phases. Define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. We are interested in estimating the total project duration in days. Management requires that the project be completed in 120 days. We will model the duration simply as total duration equals define plus measure plus analyze plus improve plus control. Now we will model each phase using a triangular distribution, which is popular when data or theory are not available to estimate or identify the distribution type and parameter values. Another similar distribution that is commonly used for project management is PERT. Now the minimum, the mode, which is the most likely value, and the maximum durations were estimated by the Six Sigma project team based on their experience. Now click on cell C4 beside the word define and we're going to specify our first input distribution. So click on the input distributions button, select triangular distribution, and the first thing we're going to do is assign a name to the distribution using our cell reference function. So click on the cell reference button beside name, select the cell that contains the word define and click OK and you'll see that the, uh, the word define has been auto-populated in this field here. Now, as I mentioned, our uh, minimum mode and maximum, they've already been, been estimated by the Six Sigma project team. And because they're in our worksheet, we can simply use the cell reference function to assign our minimum mode and maximum. So beside minimum, click the cell reference button, select your minimum, click OK, and do the same for your mode and your maximum and you can click on update chart and you'll see a preview of the chart has been updated modifying the x-axis showing your new values and showing our input name so you can click OK and what we're going to do now is we're going to use discover sims relative copy and paste function to automatically populate the remainder of our input distributions so click on the uh, cell with our first distribution and you'll need to click the copy cell button using control C or right clicking and copying using Excel's native copy function will not work you need to use discover sims copy function so click copy cell highlight cells C5 through C8 and click paste And using Discover Sims relative copy and paste, you'll see that each of these cells has been assigned the appropriate name and their appropriate minimum, mode, and maximum values. And just to make sure, let's hover over each one of these distributions and make sure that the comments match what we want. Measure, analyze, improve, control, and they all have the correct minimum, mode, and maximum values. So at this point, what we need to do is specify our output response. Now, if you click on cell C11, you'll note that the Excel formula sum bracket C4 colon C8 has already been entered. So all you have to do is click on the output response button. Now, under function, you'll see the formula already input. And under the, or rather beside the name field, enter total. And as you'll recall, management had a requirement that this project be completed in no more than 120 days. So we're going to reference the cell with that value. And we're going to use that for our upper specification limit. So once you've done that, you can click OK. And you can hover over the cell and you'll see that the formula, the specification limit, and the name of the output are all correct. So at this point, we're ready to run our simulation. So to run the simulation, you can click on the Run Simulation button. Now to bring up more options, click on the Report Options slash Sensitivity Analysis button. And the extra option that we are going to select is Sensitivity Charts and Correlation Coefficients. And now we're ready to run the simulation. Now you can see from the histogram and from the capability report that the total project duration should easily meet the requirement of 120 days, assuming that our model is valid. 
the likelihood of failure based on the actual simulation performance is 0.03%. Now, if we need to improve the performance, the sensitivity charts would guide us where to focus our efforts. Now, to view the sensitivity chart, simply click on the sensitivity chart worksheet. Now, we can see by this uh, sensitivity chart that um, by far the dominant factor affecting total duration is the control phase, followed by improve and measure. Now, the sensitivity chart uses the Spearman rank correlation, and the results may be positive or negative. If you wish to view the R squared percent contribution to variation, rerun the simulation with sensitivity regression analysis and sensitivity charts with regression coefficients checked. Now, note that the results in this simple example are intuitively obvious from the input values, but keep in mind that a real model will likely be considerably more complex with sensitivity analysis results identifying important factors that one might not have expected. Also keep in mind that your Spearman rank values will not match what you see in this video exactly as the data used to generate each of our distributions is random. So the values you see here will be close to what you see in this video, but they will not be exactly what you see.